guys, I'm Azra and I'm Aisha and, and we're the Neon Twins and welcome back to Squared. So usually in the winter time we both have a big problem with our skin and how we break out, we break a, out lot. a lot. Our skin gets very dry and it's just like a mess and like we, that's why we dread the winter. Really we dread it. Our skin's <laughs> not going to be good. But we're going to be doing an updated um, face routine, yes. like our skincare routine, because recently this winter our skin has been been pretty good for um, like more than usual. Everyone's and been telling me like because they know I struggle during the winter time with my skin. Like my skin is very very dry and, patchy. and like you see it gets patchy and then I get so much acne and it just it's not fun at all. But this winter especially my skin has been like, perfect. Perfect and I'm just like so thankful for it because. It takes so long to figure out what's right for your skin, so I'll let you guys know what we did and what helped us. So right now we're bare face. All I have is eyebrows and a tiny bit of mascara, but I put absolutely cool. nothing on. I'm like, I'm not putting on anything for this video. Yeah, so, so. we're gonna be telling you guys a few things that we use to help out our skin, and maybe some tips at the end in case you guys need them. Um, let's get on with the video. So the first thing that we live by during this whole winter is when it comes to dry skin, we need a moisturizer, and we live off of ponds. So for our skincare routine this winter, this has been the main source of our hydrated, healthy skin. Definitely, and it's definitely a good moisturizer. This one has been recommended for people with really, really dry skin, and it's a dry skin cream facial moisturizer, rich hydration, so it's very thick and it's very heavy, but it is very good for our skin. So. Yes, but I know some people that struggle with having very oily skin, and that's how they get acne. I would say try something like maybe using a face wash that's oil-free, or using a lot of oil-free like um, products. products in your face, um, or not using products at all, and just washing it, keep yeah. washing consistently, keeping it clean, make sure you keep taking out all that dirt, so not touch your face too much, exactly, all that kind of stuff. And something that I've tried this winter, well I've actually started using it in like September, like around when school started, and I've noticed my skin has had the biggest difference in terms of my acne scars and how they've went away, and I don't, because I used to have very like some dark patches, like around over here it would get dark, around my nose it would get dark, like around my chin it would get dark, but I've noticed my skin is like it's more toned, I use it like more even. I found like a toner that's worked amazing, and that's Witch Hazel, so just using any type of um, uh, toner, like we also have one that we got from Sephora, um, Honestly, that this one's good, but nothing works better than um, witch hazel because we've noticed that it's very moisturizing too and there hydrating. There was something in it that said it were like it really just caught my attention, and I was like, I want this for my face. Um, maybe it wasn't the first time we got it because we had a different um, scent, but yeah, alcohol-free toner. It just evens out because I always heard things like from other like you know YouTubers like about like toner like, like. And when I saw face routines, I was like, wow, I really need a toner. Yeah. And when I saw like people talk about this, I was mm -hmm. like, you know what? Why not try it out? It has evened out my skin complexion really well, and I don't have dark spots. My skin has stuff. definitely been a lot been a lot more like even solid. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. So um, one of the things that we live off by for this winter time is something that we caught from like I a lot told of our so friends. many people this, and they they look at us and we're crazy, they were insane, and, and they hey, try it, it also they helps with your like um, going to sleep because if you have trouble breathing, this helps vapor up. Um, we have Vicks vapor up, and this helps clear out. Um, you know, okay, so like when you have like a fresh, um, you know pimple or something like that and it hurts, like sometimes you can get the cystic pimples and it hurts. Mm -hmm. This helps um, calm that down right away so you, if you're not in pain or all that kind of stuff. So, And plus it clears your nose so like you breathe really well exactly. at night. But um, for our skin routine, these have been the main products we do use in the winter mm -hmm. and something and that we're probably going to hopefully use in the summer too, too. See how it works out with our skin, we don't know yet. But. Definitely. So my friend Leah, she actually introduced me to Vaporub um, a I while like ago. Four, maybe four or five years ago. And I time I asked her because her skin was beautiful. I always asked her what she used. She said this, and I never really like. Be I mean, I believed her, but like, I just never found a point to try it out. I was like, nothing. My skin will never get clear. But I've noticed that this made the different, the biggest difference in like overnight changes. So like, I literally noticed like when I get a pimple, like it'll last for like two weeks and like will yeah. not go away. But this is like works literally overnight, where like in two days you'll see that thing go down and like not come back. And I feel like this has been also a really big cause in my. And pimples not forming on my skin, so I definitely, definitely suggest using vapor rub every night before you go to sleep. And it'll feel very like cold and like minty or like you feel like it might be burning or burning, skin, but, but like it's work, that just means it, it's working, and it just has been an amazing help. So. And one more thing I want to say is a tip that I noticed has been helping me a lot because usually I used to not do this and used to not really care, but pulling my hair back when I go to sleep. Yes. It's so important because after a long day your hair is dirty and maybe if you wash it at night it's different but if you touch, if like your, if like say your hair is like a bit oily like after like a day or two and it's touching your face, all that oil goes into your skin and you mm -hmm. get acne. Pulling it back into like a little pony or a braid, even for guys if you want to like a headband on in case you like have hair on your forehead, like your hair also, comes down, just pull it back. Avoid touching your skin at all times. Because I have this issue where I'm not wearing makeup I tend to like touch my skin like feel how soft it is. The next day I'll see pimples. I'm just like... Like these small things, like there's like little germs like on your hand that you when you touch your skin you'll you'll know and on your pillow you get acne or, exactly or always changing the sheets in your bed making sure they're clean just always making being aware of like what you're putting on your face or what's touching it so that's definitely a big help 
So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We know that a lot of people do, that watch our video are pretty young, like pretty much our age or younger, and might be dealing with, you know, acne in high school. We and have. School. We I have. have. You can go back and watch videos, and our acne is insane, or not insane, but like people have worse, but it's very red and cystic, and it hurts, and it, you get scars. Exactly. So we, we know, like, we, we've we dealt, dealt with, with it before, and everyone's going to, even if it doesn't clear up overnight, and, and you're going to try a age. bunch of products. Um, give it some time, give I'm sure it it'll clear up, but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to Squared. We also have our own channel where we've been posting lots of videos, yes. and we also were, um, just recently went on our senior trip and have been posting a ton of a ton of vlogs on our channel about that. Um, but if you want to subscribe to Squared, click right over here. You can also watch yesterday's video over here and more from us over there, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye!